Many people know someone, someone in their family, a friend or relative that have had coronary artery bypass grafting. It's that common of an operation. There are many different ways to perform this operation and people come up with frequently asked questions about how it's performed. Firstly, the most important part about how a coronary artery bypass grafting operation is performed, it must be done safely with the most outstanding of outcomes. A cut is made in the center of the chest. We limit the length of the incision as much as is reasonably possible, both for comfort and for cosmetic reasons. And generally speaking, it's well tolerated. Depending on the number of bypasses that are done, and the number can range anywhere from one to three, four, or even five bypasses, the operation can take between two and three and a half to four hours. It's important to know, especially for the patient's family, however, that when the patient enters the hospital, is prepared for surgery, and leaves the hospital room to go to the operating room, that's not when the operation begins. The anesthesiologist has his work to do or her work to do to keep the patient extremely comfortable and to put the patient asleep. Will the heart-lung machine be necessary to do my operation? And the answer to that is sometimes yes, and sometimes no. And generally speaking, that should be left to the discretion of the surgeon at the time of operation. The heart-lung machine is a device that we've used safely now for more than 40 years in order to take over the function of the heart and lungs during an operation so that the heart can be stopped and the heart can be quietly, safely, and comfortably operated on so that the best accuracy can be employed in sewing the conduits together. We've been looking for ways to make it less traumatic to remove the vein from the patient's leg in order to obtain conduit for coronary artery bypass grafting. In the modern era, we're able to do this endoscopically or with a telescope device that enables us to not have to make very, very large incisions on the leg in order to remove the vein. This has been a major advancement in the field of coronary artery bypass grafting over the course of the last 10 to 15 years. The ultimate goal is to perform the operation in the safest possible fashion. What kind of conduits will be used during my operation? We can use arteries from elsewhere in the body or veins from elsewhere in the body. The most commonly used artery is the internal mammary or the internal thoracic artery which is an artery that generally lives on the inside of the chest wall. This is a very, very durable conduit to use for bypass grafting, and generally speaking, it will last for decades if properly done. Finally, people frequently ask if there's a less invasive way to do coronary artery bypass grafting. Over the course of the past several years, the field has evolved to the point where we are exploring means by which we can do heart surgery through smaller incisions. We very frequently will do valve surgery through smaller incisions. Bypass grafting, however, is slightly more difficult to accomplish this in a complete fashion because the arteries lie both in front of the heart as well as in back of the heart. And while it is theoretically possible to do bypass grafting using concepts such as robotic heart surgery, generally speaking, this is not the most advisable way to proceed at this time.